Hey guys, Gary here, going to be talking to you today about The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 9, what's happened and what's going on, and this will be my thoughts about the episode. So after a long wait, we're finally back in The Walking Dead, and I've got to say, this episode didn't disappoint me. I I thought it was brilliant, well written, and beautifully directed, and it was really powerful and packed with emotion, and it's got to be up there, one of the best. So the episode starts off with... Um, a montage of a funeral, which we all assumed was for Beth. Um, it was um, showing you, like, it was going around with Father Gabriel speaking, but it was showing around, like, different places, like Woodbury, the ch- the prison, um, the grove, and just little random places. And I thought, oh, maybe it's just going to, it's like a bit of a recap for us about how the group have got to this point. And it was, um, it was like, it was very, like, did fast and just out of nowhere, really, the way it just, went away from that. I was like, oh, so it looks like that's a f- we'll get back to that later on or something, but you get you get to see Rick and Glenn take out um, a few zombies running by cars and that, so you just assume that, yeah, you'll go back to that, because it's not going to be like two minutes, uh, two, like two seconds of Beth's funeral. You want to see some emotion by Daryl and Maggie, and it was just, um, that, that got me a bit confused. So we see a little scene with Rick and Noah, which was good, about Noah saying Beth was going to come with him to Virginia, you know, back to his hometown. And that triggers Rick to commun- to, to communicate to the group and say, uh, it's what Beth wanted, let's let's go. And so they go and um, yeah, in Rick's car, it's Rick, Michonne, Tyrese, Noah and Glenn. And it's, um, it's like, oh, where's the others? And then Rick's on the... Walking to a Carol saying that they're going to check it out and go ahead, which is supposed to spark us. They can't trust people these days, can they? So it was, um, it was, it was like good to see that they're starting to think, think, think things through more. Um, it was, um, there was a nice little moment in the car with Tyrese and Noah. Um, Tyrese was just talking about how what his dad used to like, you know, with the radio broadcasts and and stuff, and it was just to give Noah a bit of hope, I think. Um, yeah, they finally get to the Virginia. Um, yeah, they get out the car and they take the back route again because they're not going in through the front doors because they can't trust people and they want to check it out. And I thought that, I thought, yeah, just they're really getting smart here. Yeah. And then they, they're there on at the gates and, you know, the town's not what it was. And that really upsets Noah because he really won't rely on that. Um, I think Rick or Michonne says we should check for supplies anyway. So Glenn and Rick and Michonne go off and it's just Tyrese and Noah then and then Tyrese is trying to like, you know, talk to him and then Noah runs off. Which uh Tyrese tries to catch up and they go to Noah's house. Now, when they get to Noah's house, this is where things really get interesting. You see um a dead body on the floor, which you assume was Noah's mum. Um, she looks like she's got a head beating, which is also a bit of a nod to yeah, Negan from the comics, which I'll get to in a minute about Glenn finding a baseball bat. But it was um, yeah, it was a bit of a you know hint to him, you know, he bashes people's heads in with baseball bats, and it was all like you know you have one on one and you get five, you know, it's one of them. It's just all, it's all weird. It's um, it's like loads of Easter eggs lying around, and you're just assuming things, and you're getting yourself excited. But yeah. When when we're in Noah's house, uh, things got a, things did get out of um hand a little bit, didn't they? You know, uh, Noah's seeing his family like dead, and well, Tyrese goes and checks out one of the rooms, and you can see it. There's a walker in there, and um, he remembers Noah did have like brothers, and so he knew it was them. But he then checks the um, he then checks one of the rooms, and he's looking at photos of the um, of the two brothers. You know, the twins. And I think that's you start thinking of Lizzie and Mika then because you could see that one was a happy kid and one was a bit looking troubled just by the photos. You could see that. Um, I thought that was um, I thought and he was just so intense with it, and you could tell how fatigued he he was. They're all tired. They've been on the road since since Atlanta, which I believe has been seventeen days. So they said on the Talking Dead, which I never really watched, but I found out and. So yeah, seventeen days, five hundred miles. They're all gonna be knackered, and um, yeah. So he's focusing on a photo, and you can see someone behind him, and you're like, "Oh shit, that's a walker!" And then um, next minute he turns around, and bam, he gets bit. That I I had a feeling it was gonna be Tyrese this season, but 
just in that episode, no. I thought, yeah, Tyrese will be the big death at the end of the season, you know, like, uh, give him a good death like that. And uh, I, was, I was really, really shocked. I was like, nah, he's going to get through this one. He, he, they'll chop his arm off or something. And then um, Noah comes in and kills the uh, the lad with the uh, with the plane. And <laughs> that's got to be one of the best kills of the, of the week, by the way. Just that, that was, it was just brilliant. And he didn't hesitate, no, it was his brother, like, did he? You know, he done, done well. <laughs> but, yeah, um, it was, uh, Tyrese was a bit, you know, shocked and no, was like, I'm going to get help. So then Noah goes off and gets help, which takes him absolutely ages. And it's just, this is where the the, sh- the show got better, just by, I think it was the first time that we've been through someone being bit, like, Dan, like witnessing what they're going through. But we had a bit with Jim in season one, but this was this was something completely different, you know. The, you're losing that amount of blood, you are gonna hallucinate, but just the way you were seeing Martin from Terminus and the tw- the girls and um Lizzie and Mika and Beth and the governor, it was just it was so st- weird and it was trippy. Especially when the governor's saying something to him and comes towards him and Next minute, it's a zombie, which Tyrese, with, with a bit arm, does well to fight off, even though he gets bit again in the same place. But, you know, if you're gonna if you're going out anyway, you might as well just use your arm. You know, you've already been bit. What have you got to lose? Um, and that was just great. But all the stuff the girls were saying, like, it's okay now, it's better now. It's just like, they're inviting him to go on the next step into the afterlife. And I know that sounds like strange, but... That's what it was like, in my opinion. It was him saying, like, it was them going, come with us type thing. And it was just, like, really nice. But I think the weird thing was, is, like, you've all got blood still on them. You can see, like, the wounds. Like, Martin had something on his, like, a slash on his neck from Sasha. And the girls had, like, bullet marks. Beth had a bullet in her head. And the governor had one. And he probably had one in a shirt. But his shirt was black. I couldn't see the uh, the knife wound. But... Yeah, it was really, really weird, and Tyrese is hallucinating, but talking to them, and he's shouting at them, and it's just, especially when he stands up to the governor, he's saying, I'm not taking this shit, and it was just really great acting by Chad Coleman, and and it was really great acting by everyone else in the room. David Morrissey was a great surprise to see again. The only thing, oh yeah, and um, I forgot Bob, Bob was there as well, which was great, I, I like seeing Bob, 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 even though, um, Bob making everyone smile again, basically, wasn't he? He's just there. He's just what he does. But I was sad not to see, not to see Herschel, but Herschel never really affected Tyrese in a way like the others did, which is um, a bit sad. But I wanted to see Ty- I wanted to see Herschel because, you know, everyone loves Herschel. Okay, now I'll talk a little bit about Rick and Michonne and Glenn's journey, and then I'll go back to Tyrese because there's a lot about Tyrese. But Rick and uh, Michonne and Glenn... You can tell Miss Jones just not herself, you know, she's 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 exhausted, she's looking dead fatigued, she's not you know, just the way she was going up to the zombies and killing them like that, so she she's a little something badass, like she just looked like she had no energy to be honest. Um Glenn. Glenn was a bit, you know not himself. He was more like he was talking about he would have killed Dawn and if he had the chance and it's just and he said that he would he in back in terms he wouldn't let if he could rethink it through, he wouldn't let that guy out of the 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 van. So or the um, the car. So it was um it's a bit weird that Glenn's going dark is going a bit darker, but that Glenn has to be careful, it's going darker like that could be the death of Glenn. You know, he, he's he's really good as he is and if you went dark, it can affect his judgment, but it was um, it might be actually interesting for Glenn to grow into a more darker character because he's at the minute season one, two, and three, and four, and halfway through five, he's been uh, he's been Glenn, and he Glenn Glenn's been Glenn through the apocalypse. You know, he has moments of where he is a bit dark, where he's like you know, but then like when Mail tied him up and he killed the zombie, and that was great. But yeah, he has his moments, Glenn, um, and also. As I said in the show before, she was like saying we could make it work here type thing, but you know, Rick, Rick's like, no, we can't. The woods are there, we're too exposed. We won't see anyone coming or a head or anything. And she goes, we can chop the trees down. She just really wanted a place to stay, Michonne, which um, which I know they all do. They've been on a road, the road again for a while, but they're all fed up and hungry and 
and that's just bad. But it seems to be in this episode, Rick was the peacekeeper for once. He wasn't the one who was a bit uh, strange. But you know, it's uh, it was good to see Rick being like a Rick get like a leader type thing, trying to keep everyone together, which was um, it was brilliant. Now yeah, back to Tyrese. Um, yeah, he's still going through the hallucinations, and then Beth turns up and starts singing, which you know. That, that can't help anyone, to be honest, now. Nah. I'm only joking. It was good to see Beth because a lot of people were sad to see Beth die, to be honest. Yeah, and I was probably one of them. I like Beth as a character. She was a good character and um, she she will be missed. But, yeah, I, you, you, it's just great the way they're all calling. And next minute, Lizzie and um, Mika both grab Tyrese's arm and, like, it's basically in Tyrese's mind. It's basically say, come with us. And then he snaps out of it, and it's actually Rick holding his arm, and Michonne saying, and Rick saying to Michonne, Kill, cut it off, which is going to be darker than when he uh, cut Herschel's leg off. Actually, no, I don't know. But it's just uh, it was just horrible the way she just didn't have like, bam, arm off. And that's why I was like, yes, he's going to survive now. Tyrese is going to survive. Because he was saying that he wasn't going to give up. And I was like, yes, come on, Tyrese, fight through it, fight through it. <laughs> and then um, they got him out, and they were trying to. You know, get past, open the gate to get in the, to get to the car, and walkers were there. And this is one of the most beautiful shots, by the way, of the slow motion. I thought that was brilliant the way they done that, and from it was I think it was from Tyrese's perspective as well. So it's just like you're looking at Tyrese's eyes, and I just thought it was beautiful. That. And then you hear Rick on his walkie telling Carol that they've got to sort of stump out and keep um, Sasha and Carl away because they don't want to see this, and it's like. Like, oh god, this could be dark, and then back in the car, Tyrese is in and out of consciousness, and he sees everyone again, and he's hallucinating, and Beth's saying something like, Come with us. And um, next minute, you see the car stop, and Rick getting out of the car, checking on Tyrese, and Ty- that's Tyrese, he's there, uh, he stopped breathing, and he, uh, Rick looks a bit sad and angry, and then Michonne puts him down, which is a. Uh, it was sad because I liked I, I like Tyrese in the TV show, but not as much as I loved his character in the comics. In the comics, he was proper badass, but in the TV show, he was the voice of the group in a way that he didn't want anyone to die or get killed, which is boss. But you have to in the zombie apocalypse. Now you've got to take you you got to survive. You su- survive and defend yourself, which is. What Tyrese didn't want to do. Tyrese was tired. It looked like he wanted to give up anyway. And yeah, it was just it was really sad to see. And then we got the funeral, and it turns out the funeral from the start wasn't Beth's. It was actually Tyrese's, which was great the way they done that. And it was uh, it was just it was dead sad, wasn't it? It was, it was like oh, they've just got rid of Beth and now this. And uh, the, the, you just get to see mo- all, most of the group then, and the, all the group looked fed up and sad and. It's just really sad, and then you see his beanie on his cross, which was like, oh, no way. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that's too sad, that. <laughs> and, yeah, I thought, in, I thought it was a really good episode. Also, in this episode, there's a few things you have to take, which is, I think it's hinting. It's like the baseball bat, Negan. Um, it's just like, you know, there's another thread where it says on the wall, the walls are coming. Which can which could be like a new gang they've made up to you know pass time, which will be good to see because I like it when they do stuff what's not in the comics because it's unpredictable and isn't it? You you don't know what's gonna happen, which I really like, and it does give the sense that yeah, um, Noah's hometown was attacked by people, so yeah, that is another one. Uh, so the wolves, I think that's the new threat, the new gang. And then you got to see all those walkers, you know, bodies smashed up and that, and their heads in the van and. I think whoever was using it was using it as a weapon. Now that sounds Neganish to me. It really does sound like a bit like Negan, which is a. Uh, I don't think we'll see Negan. We'll hear about him before we'll see him. I still think Negan will be season seven. Season six finale. Season season seven will be his whole story. Now I don't know. It's it's whatever you think, but uh, that's it. I want to know what you think. Um, like like thumbs up if you um if you loved the episode. Thumbs down if you didn't. 
um, comment, comment on it, tell me what you didn't like, what you did like, and please subscribe. Um, the next video I'll be making is a prediction video for the next episode, and also I'm going to be reviewing Better Call Saul, if that interested you. And as always, uh, come over to Facebook and like the Walking Dead fan base and get involved with the discussion. And if you join, uh, just write on the wall uh, that you joined because you saw my video, and that'll be good. Um, so yeah, uh, see you next time guys, take care.